All right, this is the table salt uh, test again. The only difference is uh, I put one tablespoon of table salt in the uh, water. I'm not having my divider because I just want to see what one tablespoon of salt will do. Uh, so uh, here we go. I'll hook it up to 12 volts. I'll turn on my uh, power supply. And then you can see immediately how much the hydrogen side is being pumped out. And the oxygen is a little bit more being produced than with the uh, three quarters teaspoon. Uh, but this turns uh, green a lot faster than the three quarter teaspoon uh, measurement. I'm guessing that the green is from the iodine that's in the salt. It's the only salt I have is this table salt with iodine in it. Maybe if I get. Uh, regular table salt with no iodine. Uh, maybe it'll keep it from turning green. I won't know unless I go out and buy some. But for right now, this is all I have. Uh, as you can see, boy, it's just pumping it out like crazy. One tablespoon of table salt with iodine. Uh, I ran the three quarters. Uh, tablespoon of uh, iodine for about uh, 20 minutes and it just got thicker and thicker green stuff um, just look at that man look at that. that's pumping and the gas is already flowing around inside the bowl I don't know if you can see it uh, I can see it with my eyes but sometimes this, the camera doesn't pick it up if you look back in here you can see it just blowing out. I see it going over towards the uh, here area. See it all right in, right in, right in this area here. Let me get a top view shot. It's making the. Uh, at least I think this is hydrogen that's being made with table salt. I mean, I see the gas. It's going over, coming. It's coming down here. Let's see where else it might be showing. But I can see it all in the bowl. All the gas inside the bowl here. It's all going around and just coming over. But the green stuff. That green it is looks like pond water but uh, I don't have the divider in this time because I just want to see the table salt one one tablespoon of table salt does uh, wow, look at that at least the good thing is the green stuff isn't floating up in the air they're just the water is turning green in it and it's only on the uh, surface You can see the surface with the lighting here. And it just gets thicker and thicker the longer you run it. Wow, look at all that gas going up. It's just blowing all up in the, the, the ceiling here. There you go, you can see the gas there. And it looks like uh, sprite bubbles bubbling everywhere. Look at that. Boy, he's just pumping it out like crazy. With just very little steel plates. Just in this one area right here, it's, you can see the gas a lot, but from looking back behind the camera, the whole bowl is making gas. It's all in this area the gas is being made, I can see. Uh, and as far as the oxygen goes, very little oxygen bubbles are being made. So I did I did one thing. I cut back on the oxygen, which I is what I like. I don't want to make oxygen. I want to make hydrogen. And uh, as you can see, there you go. I'm going to run this one for a while, see how thick that stuff gets. But it sure definitely is pumping that stuff out like crazy. 
If anybody knows what that green stuff is, maybe it's the eye, and I'm not for sure, I don't know. But if anybody else has tried it with table saw and they know what it is, they let me know. Thanks. 30 minutes now, and as you can see, how dark green it has gotten. This is with one tablespoon of salt, and it's been running for 30 minutes. And as you can see, the whole bowl is full of it now. It's gotten thicker. Uh, but not so not so thick that you can't move anything around, but you can feel the viscosity of the water is thicker. Uh, the metal, the connections are slightly slightly have a warmth to it. The container itself is uh, a little warm, but it's still pumping that hydrogen out like crazy. I have a fan running behind me now because uh, I don't I don't want to be breathing in this stuff because I don't know what it is, and I mean, even though I know it's table salt, but there's what the stuff looks like. There's 30 minutes of running. It has to be the iodine. And they're still pumping gas out like crazy too. As you can see. Green hydrogen. <laughs> Talk about going green. That's green, all right. I gotta give me some uh, table salt without the uh, iodine in it. See if it makes a difference. But there you go. It's 35 minutes now, and it's been running and it's getting greener. I'm gonna use table salt. Uh, this is the uh, negative side uh, plates I used. It's a three with the two. And uh, this is after I cleaned them. Uh, I can't get this other stuff off. Um, both sides are really, it just turns a really dark, dark green on both sides. Uh, the little ones, it didn't do anything to the little ones. And there's the bolt. That's after cleaning. I can't get it off. And now on the uh, positive side what it does is it eats the metal up like crazy it just pitted the hell out of the metal you see the the, the bolt it just only on this one side here on the edges here it uh ate it up like crazy. That's after uh, 40 minutes of running with table salt, one tablespoon of table salt. It just ate it up like crazy. This is the positive side. And these are the plates I use on the negative side. So if you're going to use table salt, uh, just a warning that it will make your plates turn really dark, dark green and very hard to clean. And uh, your positive plates, it will eat them up like crazy.